Matilda Castro and Judy, she just won a few weeks ago at Lake Merced in Daly City, California. Well, and we're getting kind of used to watching her play now in contention. Swing looks a little more rested today, but she did have a double yeah. bogey earlier in this round. You know, though, you talk about how she played her, her wedge game yesterday. And Salas for her birdie now. Got a good read from Lee Six. Oh, yeah. She'll take that, and that putter still working well for Lizette. This putt should break pretty good to her left, especially at the hole. One of those good finishes was right here. She tied for second behind Angela Stanford and shared the lead going into the final round. Yeah, we certainly had different conditions. So she tugs her tee shot at eight. Maybe tries to get a little too much out of it. Yesterday, Henselite was over the back of the green. And... Okie dokie. And she got it inside of that, didn't she, She Karen? did. <laughs> Almost got it in the hole. So then it all comes down to, am I going to have a good week with the putter? Yeah, even if she didn't have a good week with the putter, it was going to be a solid tournament for yeah. her, but the putter really changed it because she hit the ball as good as I've seen her hit it in ages last week. As we noted yesterday and was noted last week. She is top 10 on the LPGA Tour this season in both putting Sorry. statistics. And uh, she's going to have to settle for a par. Currently going along quite nicely at, at four under par. She is uh, going to be representing Korea in the Olympic game. Celine Herbin to get to four under. These patches that you may be seeing that are browner, like we saw at the ninth hole, like you've seen in the fairway here at 10. We just can't overstate the incredible work done by the superintendent, Russell Berkheimer, and his team. This golf course, like almost every course in North Texas, was just beaten up. Pretty much destroyed the driving range just to make this golf course playable and to fix some of the areas that were really, really decimated, especially the north-facing slopes. Yes, and Yelimi and I will walk off this ninth with with just a par. And I, and I think, Morgan, this is one of those holes that if you have a chance to make birdie, be great, but if you're walking off with a par, it's it's not too bad at all. It's tough to get too aggressive with it. Yeah. No question about that. And she's, you know, you have to bide your time and pick your chances out here. 17. Well, it's a scander for her, but he really needs to start making something happen. That'll get her back to two over par. I mean, she's fully capable of going deep on that on that front side. Now, Celine Urban, can she get it to four under par? That's a good looking stroke. Yes. Oh, yes. Pretty solid. Yeah, she uh, going to dial it in. Her and John yeah. adjust the numbers so well to get the effective distance and spot on. It's good. Right center. Oh, copy that rhythm. I mean, we talk about Inby Park's rhythm with, with the putting, but I mean, you're not going to find much better than that right there, Judy. Second shot of the 18th. It's the ninth of the day for this group, and it's Matilda Castron of Finland. By way of Florida State. It was a LPGA event and I still got in, but they've since changed those rules. Castron for birdie just runs out of steam. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense for that for that team and or for that tour, which has far fewer events um, than the LPGA tour. In Ji Chun for birdie at 10. And here's another player with great rhythm and tempo with her putting stroke. Uphill falling right. Oh, how does it get to that point? It caught a good bit of the hole. It's literally right behind the hole. <laughs> 17 again. D6 for her par. Just a few inches shorter than the one at the previous hole, which inexplicably didn't touch the hole. Okie dokie. Not too bad there. 
um, can play for Europe if they play well on this tour. Um, I don't. I don't know that membership necessarily works for you if you don't ever play over there. Mm. Uh, I can't say um, all the details of that, but in a way, we're going to go to 12. Celine Herbin to stay four under. The cut line is moved to even at the moment. This is one of those testers, Karen. A little bit left to right. Oh, nicely done, Morgan. I mean, that is a good-looking putting stroke. Yeah, strong par. Get over the putt, and they don't look like they're expecting to make it, almost like they're surprised by it, even though we're expecting them to make it. And I get that sense out of Lizette. She never takes one for granted. Oh, that ball doesn't know who hit it. <laughs> you know, what's amazing about Lizette Salas is the two weeks of her golf life that I saw her play. This is Jong Un Lee six for her birdie on 15. A little bit of a slow effort here, turning slightly right at the end. Well, she's a very good player. Yulimi knows birdie putt came up to this point at the 12th. This for par. All right, the cut line at the moment is even. And this is Salas for her sand save par. Oh, it's just slow up that hill and just didn't give it enough. And nice smooth stroke there. She'll move along quite nicely. She'll stay one shot back. Really city, we've had a little bit of everything you else. You don't count Texas out. <laughs> 13. And that's Inji Chan's third shot. Beauty. Yeah. But uh, if you're not used to it, uh, it can. And as we say in Texas, you. You, you can get all four seasons in one day. <laughs> that's true. Sometimes. That's right. <laughs> you've, you've lived in Texas too uh, yes, long. Yes, I have. How hard it is to win. Her first two wins were in major championships. She's won one other event since then. Yeah. This is the 14th in Celine Herbin. Well, I will say this, too, is that uh, we didn't have as many players either. But with the water level being really high, the ball is out of the water, but she'll be standing in the water. Mm. Celine Herbin with a nice birdie to get to within three. This is a different mindset. May not have been as many. But we've, uh, heard, we've heard of all of them, though. <laughs> there were some pretty good ones in there you beat. Yeah, well, times. yeah, I've, there were some pretty good players. Uh, of course, Mickey being one of them. But uh, Judy Rankin is another one. I mean, I've gone head to her, head with her and lost most of the time. Really good play. I, and when they played at uh, Atlanta, oh, man. Oh, yeah. How about Wasn't that? that great? And, you know, it's that's uh, it brings the stature a little bit higher, I think, when you play those. Uh... It's been a familiar theme for her, Judy. Yep. Uh, Jerry pointed it out in the first round, and it continues today. A lot of putts that just don't really get a chance because she's not getting the ball to the hole. Probably about six inches outside the right. Her speed's been good. Her line really hasn't. That is. OK. Well done. Lovely stroke. I'll say. I didn't well, see I it. I would have loved to have seen it, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful stroke, but she just did not get it on the proper line. Three. And this is Matilda Castron for her birdie. Taking advantage of a very nice little little tee shot there on a whole like lo whole location that can really catch players out. Just 122 yards a day, and he's got to be careful not to pull it a little left. Says it's four steps from the edge, but those are some tiny legs. <laughs> They are definitely that. There's not enough room either side, and she was able to stick the land in there, Jerry. You let me know for birdie at 14. Oh, that could come in handy when the cut is made sometime tomorrow. Par save. OK, 
kind of put a little note by that one if suddenly she's in contention. It's going to be a, a long wait for him to play very little holes. And Celine Herban on the 15th just stays on the high side. We do, though, now have a pretty good forecast for the rest of the weekend. Mm -hmm. Knock on wood. Let's move ahead to the 15th. And this is Yulimi Noe with her second. Yulimi is playing with Alim Kim, two rookies in the Dow Great Lakes Bay Invitational. They're fighting for Rookie of the Year. And it'll be quite an interesting pair there. I like, I like the style, too, with the the way she holds it, she looks like she's very solid over over the putter. Always wanted to think you should play out a good streak when you're playing well. Um, you know, ride it as long as you can. Beautiful putt. Um, but players now, they make a schedule early in the year and they stick to it. Sometimes it's just easier than moving the mark two in one direction. Just go whoever's not standing on each other. No. Did you do that, Judy? Turn the mark over if you were moving it? Yeah. No. And it's just that final reminder. If for whatever reason the rest of the members of your group have to rush off and off to the tee before they make it to the next one, then and they forget to tell you. Keep turning. Dominant on the LPGA of Korea tour with Hanako Shibuno and looked all the world like it was in. I do remember, yeah. and um, uh, my gosh, she played world class golf that week. Judy, which would you, growing up on these Texas greens, which would you default to? Uh, you know, I was just not, I, I, to begin with, I did not grow up on these kind of greens. I grew up on bent greens um, in St. Louis, but I was never a great green reader on Bermuda. I finally learned to read grain. And stay in the lead on her own. You do have to grow into it if you're not used to it, for sure, and really pay attention to it. Now back to the 15th, and Aileen Kim for a birdie, and... Not so sure. Well, I don't know. I think the holes are, are too few for her to. They're almost not carrying two and three irons any longer. Yeah, Celine Herban now, the 17th. Oh, yes. This is Celine Herban for her birdie. And that gets her to six under par. Made of this. Oh, another good looking flowing oh. stroke, but. Jaws if she hits it. It's a sacrifice, isn't it, Judy? Sometimes, you know, you don't want to try and hit it too hard because you ruin the stroke. You said a lot of work it is in turning right. Ooh, Ooh her second three putt in what, six, seven holes now. You sometimes never feel like you get a three putt back. No, you, know, you can uh, you can recover from it on the scorecard, but you just never feel like you get it back. It kind of sits with you mentally. Like they definitely mm -hmm. carry with you because you, you you then start to putt defensively to to avoid them. There's a little bit of a thing that she has going on with her right shoulder that make those left to right putts a bit harder. I think she. Our leader, Matilda Castron, third shot at the par five sixth. Good shot underneath the hole. And her start. Tap in for a 68. She is in contention. Back at the sixth, Lee Six. Just 219 yards to the front. Oh, this is a pretty good line with a three wood. Just right of the hole, little draw. Okay, it'll creep mm. on. What a shot. Uh, she looked shocked that it went the other way. <laughs> Golf will do that to you sometimes. Yep, yeah. SMHing. Don't blame you there.
I'll say she's precise. Excellent. Yep, she made that one look very easy as well. It's par threes, they can uh, catch up with you very quickly. This is the third shot for Jean Yan, Karen. Well, and if I wouldn't have thought she could have got that anywhere near as close to the hole. I mean, those bunkers are, are not easy. Today, Kathy Whitworth, 17 again. This is Jin Yang, and she's trying to mm, bounce back from a bogey at the previous hole, but couldn't quite finish off that just fabulous bunker shot. Celine Boutier for birdie at the sixth. Good putt. Even par, trying to claw as many as she can, has not had that great of a couple of years, not, not what we've come to expect. But a couple of back-to-back -back birdies there. Awfully hard. And the 18th, Yelimi No. She chuckled at me as she walked up here saying, ah, I was afraid I might be in that bunker, but I think she'll be happy with it now. She had an incredible round going on Saturday. You leave me no for birdie at 18. That's one to finish, make dinner taste a little bit better there. She was expecting you know, lunch six hours ago and... Yeah, the first half of the putt is uphill, second half of the putt downhill, sloping to the right, all about speed on this putt. Should be on most putts, but especially on this one. Yeah, that's gonna be a 72 for NG. She had the lead alone at nine under couple of birdies at two and three, but then... She, she fought it off the she tee did. four or five times today. Yeah, a great save at 14 after it looked like her ball was to be lost. Most everybody does. It just looks like it's every time. It's just going to happen. She just such a good stroke. Yep. Sometimes when you've just missed one like that, you just kind of have to grit your teeth and... Now you Lou for her. Birdie, four and a par. Oh my goodness. I, I think she stepped away from it before she actually struck it. She knew, didn't she? She was not comfortable on that. She's had five birdies today, two bogeys. This is the par putt at the eighth for Matilda Castron. look a lot easier on TV than they are when you're standing over them, four feet away, five feet away. So Hester Henselite, after being in those bunkers, came up short of the green. This to save par. And that will just be a bogey for her. Talented player from, from Germany. Seven under par, making a little move. Not too far out of things with two rounds to play. And she's right there, seven under. And this is the 17th, Paul Long Patlin. Four a birdie. Played this three shots and only four to get down. Just off the green, Boutier. Yeah, lift clean in place, was able to get it right over to the edge. The back portion of the screen is pretty flat in terms of break, but it is slightly uphill. If anything, it'll die right. Well, she got one there. Told you she was going to make one eventually. Yeah, you seem to be feeling it. Well, if you say that once and you have 10 holes left, your odds are pretty good. Lou and Simon Boutier shared the lead going into the final round. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Well, a, a par at the ninth should do it. Don't see any way that the cut could go to two under. Yeah, that's right. You kind of forget we're out here on Friday afternoon, but there's still half the field left to play. And so uh, she'll have she'll have a long wait because uh, I don't think she's going to feel very comfortable. That week at Medihill, didn't she ever? 
Mark it down again. Tremendous up and down from the back of the green from some thick Bermuda grass. Ponanong Patlam. Yes. All right. Judy, it's her 262nd LPGA start. There you go. Great up and down. But she has a lot of very deep fire burning inside her that drives her to succeed. Yep. And that well, might have been to make the cut right there. And she knew it after the eight iron from the fairway. Okay. Just a little simple tap in there for Jong and Lee Six and 